Hello YouTube, I'm Meframe225 and I have yet another SRPG Studio tutorial for you. Today's topic is one that I was a little confused by at first, but it's actually really simple, so I want to make this video in order to clear up any confusion on the subject. In today's video, we are going to do promotions. I can't do the thing with the R sound that Robotnik does in the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon. Promotion. Yeah. So yes, promotions, class changing, whatever you want to call it, this is the act of changing from one class to another, potentially to get stronger, learn some new tricks, etc. So, the first thing you want to do before you do anything with class changing is to go into your database, go into the config menu, and you will see this option under game options. It says, enable class change on the battle prep screen. If you enable this option, it changes the way class changing works in the default settings. So um, class changing is all about something called class groups. There's a button for it on the left here. And uh, you can make a group of classes. Uh, basically, a class group determines what classes the character is allowed to change into. So you can select a class here, and there are all sorts of parameters that you uh, can require for changing to that class. Uh, normally, for example, the usual requirement is to be level 10 or higher, so you can select level 10 or more. But you can also make any of these other stats a requirement, and you can even use a global switch as a requirement. So if you want a class to be unlockable later, uh, then you can have that too. Just make the switch the requirement, and then flip the switch when you want to unlock it. Uh, there can be as many classes as you want in a single class group. And if you go into the players menu here, you will see that at the bottom there is the class group selection. You can select two class groups for one unit. Now, these class groups do something different depending on if you had enabled this option earlier. If you do not enable this option, then basically class group 1 is the first tier of promotion and class group 2 is the second tier of promotion. When the character promotes the first time, they will select a class from class group 1. When they promote a second time, if you enable it, they will be able to select a class from class group 2. But if this option is enabled, then class group 1 is all of the unpromoted classes available to the units and class group 2 is all of the promoted classes available to the units and in the base menu or the battle prep menu if, if you enable it you can change between any of those classes freely it's like the shadow dragon reclass system and the class groups are basically what you're allowed to reclass between however unlike shadow dragon there is no limitation to the number of units of a particular class you can have with the default settings and uh, in order to promote a unit, you obviously have to have a class changing item. This is the default uh, class changing item that is in the base game. Very, very simple. You just select class change as the item type. And down under item effects, you can select which class groups the item works on. If you want to, say, make different promotion items for different units, like in most Fire Emblem games up to Path of Radiance or so, I think. Um, you can change whether or not the promotion will reset the character's level back to level 1. And you can... This checkbox just says if you want to display the class groups that the item works on in the item info window, you check this. I would recommend not leaving this here because if you have... If you are doing a game where you have only one promotion item for all units in the game, then the the, the class groups are, uh, list is going to look very cluttered in the item info window, so I would just leave this unchecked and uh, just use the description to tell the player which classes the item works on. So yeah, all of that is very, very simple. And if you want to do a plot promotion, like say, like in most games, the Lord promotes on his own at some point during the game. If you want to do a plot promotion, then in any event you choose, there is an event command for changing class. Uh, it's right here on the right. Class change, and then you can select the unit, and then you can you can select the unit that's changing class, and you can select the class that he changes to. Now, unfortunately, there's only one limitation here. Uh, the event command for changing classes, that does not reset your level. And there's no real way to reset your level because this uh, increase parameters option doesn't work on levels for some reason. So if you want to reset a character's level, then um, let's see, I have it. I have a code that I wrote 
for this particular occasion. I think it's right here. And um, yeah, this is gonna be in the description. So th this is my level reset code. Um, if you copy this into an execute code, execute script event command, then this will reset the level of the uh, unit that you choose. Just put their ID into the variable specified somehow and then um, run this code and their uh, level will be reset back to one with zero experience or you can uh, do something weird and maybe have them change to a different level. Uh, I will post a link to that code in the description so you can see it for yourself. All you have to do is copy and paste it into an execute script command. Now all of what I've just described is mostly how it works in the default settings uh, aside from the execute script of course. One thing I forgot to mention, by the way, is the way that promotion stat gains work is that if you go into the classes menu, you see over here the parameter bonus. They, these are basically the base stats of the class. The, there are a bonus to the unit stats that you get for being in that class. So the way promotion gains work is that when you switch from one class to the other, uh, these these parameter bonuses no longer apply and the new classes parameter bonuses do apply so that is how promotion gains work by default right so i've gone over the basic standard way to do promotion in srpg studio but throughout the fire emblem series there have been a number of different methods for promoting units such as the trainee units from secret stones so i'm going to go over how you would go about replicating a couple of these alternate promotion methods. So starting with the trainee units, first thing you want to do is go into your database and go to config. There is an option here that says enable class parameter limit. You want to enable this because it allows you to make different stat caps for different classes. I don't know why this isn't on by default, but you can change the level cap for whatever class you want to change the level cap for. And for trainee units, that's good, because if you want to do this exactly the same way Sacred Stones did, the cap for those classes would be level 10. Now then, uh, to handle this, we want the trainee units to automatically promote at level 10. So we're gonna go to Map Common Events, create a new event, this should be, I'll, I'll go over what all of these mean later, but first we're going to go to the event condition and you are going to go into units, add whatever unit this is going to be. It should be a chain unit, obviously, to prevent the event from going off multiple times. Well, oh, this is the level requirement, so we'll just set that now. Equal to level 10, and you can still use any of these other parameter conditions, and you can make whatever condition you want, but the one you want probably is for the unit to be such and such class. We'll just go with Lord for now. And um, and in the actual event, you're going to probably, you're going to have a message come up saying that such and such is ready for the promotion. And then you're going to use show choices. Show choices is very, very useful. It allows the player to pick from whatever options you select. So we'll just put class A here. And you can even make the choice only show up under certain conditions, and we're going to be using this later. So we'll make another option that says Class B, and the self switches that I'm picking here, those are the switches that get flipped when the choice is selected. So after the player has picked choice A or choice B, you could then have a class change command, and um, that command would only trigger if switch A or switch B had been pushed, etc. I'm not going to go through making the whole event because I, th I think you should be able to handle most of this yourself. If you want to reset the character's level, be sure to use the reset level script that I already talked about. Link will be in the description as always. So this is the basic way to have a unit promote automatically at a certain level. Only problem with this is, it is going to only work on the unit that you specified here. It does not dynamically search for any unit at a certain level. Like um, you have, so you have to make an event for every single unit that is able to promote this way, and for every tier that they go up. Now, uh, there is a solution to that. I have created a script that handles that for you. It's actually in another event. So this script I have created, it searches all player units for a unit that has reached the uh, level that you specify right here. And um, it will check their class for a certain custom parameter. I'll talk about what that means later. 
And if the unit has reached the specified level and does not have the specified custom parameter, it will cause the event to trigger and it will store the ID of the unit that it found into whatever variable you choose. And this is going to be linked in the description as well. So after the script finds a unit, uh, you have to do things a little differently from the example that I just gave, because any unit can end up in this event. So what you want to do is go into show choices like before, add every possible class option that you could possibly promote into, and then for every option, you can go to display conditions and then select units and then add the unit that's in whatever ID variable you are using. I think you have to copy the unit's ID from whatever variable it was in into an, an ID variable. I have no idea why you need to do that. But um, after you've done that, you can set the data conditions for the option to only appear if the unit whose ID is in that variable is of whatever class you want to be promoting from. So like if if I make the option, I'm just gonna check these, if I make the option Paladin, then of course I only want it to be available if the units being promoted was a Cavalier. So yeah, you do that for every possible option, and then for whatever self switch was hit, you would make a class change uh, command, changing the unit into the new class and then you would reset their level if you wish, and then you would use the change event state command to make it so that the game considers the event unused, so that it can trigger again and again. So yeah, uh, with that script, you can dynamically have it so that any unit that reaches whatever level you want uh, gets promoted, uh, it gives the player the choice of what class to promote, or any other choice you wish, really. If you want to give the player a choice of a new weapon or skill to obtain, kind of like in Path of Radiance, that's something you can do, too. I wrote that script so that I wouldn't have to deal with making a new event for every single character that was going to be in my game, so I thought you should be able to make use of it, too. Oh, and one thing more. Uh, one thing you were probably wondering about is, when is this event going to happen? Well, that's what the event setting here is for. So if you make it an auto event, it's going to run the instant the condition is fulfilled in the middle of a battle. So if you want units to promote in the middle of a battle this way, go right ahead. If you make it an opening event, it's going to happen right before the preparation screen. However, be wary of the order option here. If you select first, then your map common event is going to uh, occur before any of the chapter's events. So if I say opening events and then click on first, it's going to happen before the opening event of the actual chapter. If you click last, it's going to happen after the chapter specific events. So keep that in mind. So whatever you select, there you go. Test it out, see if it works. Um, if the game throws an error, uh, let me know and uh, I'll try and figure out what happened. So that's two possible ways of doing promotions in SRPG Studio. With an item, like you would in the classic Fire Emblems, automatically, like in uh, Path of Radiance or Sacred Stones. And there are other methods, of course, but they're actually quite cumbersome, so I don't feel like mentioning them at the moment. So those are the basics behind creating promotions in SRPG Studio, either with a standard method or with an unusual method like the script I just mentioned. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in a comment and uh, I'll see if I can help you out. Uh, that's the end of this tutorial. I decided to keep it a little short and uh, I will see you for whatever video I make next. Later!